I didn't know you were born against oh as I was saying I was rudely interrupted. I didn't know you were born against can actually listen to, to, to such music talkless of charming to Chris last night. It was so romantic. I heard that he took her to a very cool place and proposed. Oh! I've been happy for her. But what do you think is too sudden? I think he's a young Christian. What is wrong with that? They both love one another. I think it was love at first sight. 
<laughs> Only that Grace was so naive to see it. Oh, silly. Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, what has been happening to you slow coaches? Don't you think it's time you and Jim will tie the knot or better release him for we SSS? And what's that? Single and still searching. <laughs> I will lay hands on you. If I see you anywhere near Jim, I will lay hands on you. <laughs> I beg, I beg, I beg. I was only to see you. <laughs> but seriously, what are you guys still waiting for? I honestly do not know. I believe God's time is the best. Don't blame God for your follies. You are the one slagging. If it were me. Sharp, sharp! Mm. <laughs> you are that do it. Um, Lara, are you taking two eggs? <laughs> okay. From Antinato. Uh, how was it? Fine. And how is Junior kicking? He's kicking as usual. As well. <laughs> it is well, of course. Um, Simi took some more blood. She wants to run some more tests. She did? Mm -hmm. Everything is okay. Of course, all is well. No, just asking. <laughs> oh, God. So, how was work today? Well, God is good. Uh, just that I, I, I think combining business and Christianity is indeed a Herculean task. But you know what? His grace is sufficient. Darling, God says His grace is sufficient for all of us. That's right, baby. Look at me. Look at me preaching to my husband instead of feeding him. Go and change. I'm, but I'm not complaining. Go, go, go and change. Can't wait to grab your plates, baby. Oh, go and change. Yeah, it's been a day, man. All right.
don't see me. Uh, it's me, please. Uh, uh, sorry. W waking you up. Uh, uh, the, the, there's a situation here. Uh, my wife. She's so hot, sweating. Uh, what? Okay, okay. I I'll see what I can do. Uh, Alright. Bye. Uh -huh. Just, just be good. Let me dress up and take you to the hospital, right? Okay? And uh, just wait. Been able to stabilize her temperature? Oh, her temperature has been stabilized. Okay. My main concern is the baby. I don't know, but I think she might lose it. That's serious. I didn't know her illness is that bad. By the way, what's wrong with her? Uh, my guess is either typhoid or malaria. But by tomorrow, the test shall give us a better oh. diagnosis. Now, where is Brother Desmond? I saw him a minute ago. Oh, Desmond. Well, Desmond is gone out with my husband. They went to the house to get something. You know, they came in here in a hurry. Poor oh, man. Well, like I always say, it could have been worse. Are you on duty? It's my day off. All the same, I have to wait here till the result is out. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, I'll see you. I'm sorry. to make of it. It's so strange. It's very strange. Don't worry. Both of you will give testimony. She will be all right. Okay? Thanks. You've really been a source of encouragement since you joined this hospital. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. very grateful. I wish there was more I could do. Anyway, I saw in the chat. It did not run any HIV test. No, I ruled that out. Why? Why? Because Grace cannot have HIV. <laughs> is that a medical assumption or is it a personal one? Yes. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, hello, ma'am. Yes, I'm on my way now. Thank you. That's um. That's Dr. Emanuela, the lab scientist. Uh, I've got to run here. Okay. I'll see you later.
So why not have them do a CD4 test on her? Why an HIV test? <laughs> have you carried out one yet? No, I didn't. I, I see no need for it. I mean, I know the patient. And uh, she can't have HIV. Well, I'm sorry, but that's the best suggestion I can offer right now. Every other test I would have recommended for you to carry out, you have done already. Maybe there is something we are overlooking. Well, I would suggest you carry out a CD4 test on her. At least that will you know, eliminate that possibility. Just send the news over to her so I can have a good success on the test. Thank you. Not Chris. Not Chris. I mean, I know this girl. I've known her for over 10 years. She can't have HIV. I will send you a here. Thank you very much. So why not have them do a CD4 test on her? I did not see you do any HIV test on her. I think the best thing to do is just carry out the CD4 test on her. At least that would eliminate that possibility. Why? Because she can't have HIV. Is that a medical assumption or is it a personal one? No. No. I reject it in Jesus' name. The devil is trying to pull a fast one. I reject this result in Jesus' name. This is the result of the last time we were tested with Kalinata. As you can see, it shows that Greece is HIV and has now developed into four blue dots. to know. I thought I had gone past this sickle cell age. You have it. What? Oh my god. Have you talked as me? trying different drug combinations. We call them cocktails to find which is more effective. But what are the chances? I don't really know much about this AIDS thing. <sighs> Medically, the strain you have is the deadliest. What you see, you are a child of God. And I know this is just a trial. Poor 
this one. For him. I'm sure he's going through hell now. See me. Can you help me tell him? You will have to do some tests. No miracle God cannot do. Okay. Just take it easy, okay? My faith, my faith lies in the hands of God. Let's all begin to pray. God. It's okay. She can't be. I, I, I was here when you called Papa and his mother. See me, tell me what is it. Tell me what's wrong. Chris is HIV positive. Desmond has killed her. Jesus Christ. Are you sure of what you're talking about? Honey, we've done all the tests. Every one, and this that is the most deadliest of all. This will hit this man badly. He gave it to her. He gave it to her. But it's not possible now. Honey, I knew Grace. She knew no man before she got married to him. See me, I was there. I was there when the church asked, asked him to go for, for his premarital test. They did that, their HIV, or what do you call it, test. And he, he, he was given a clean bill of health. There's been a documented case where someone tests negative, and two months later he tests positive. So, so how come he has not, he has not, um, how do you tell me, why has not manifested all those symptoms, um, HIV, AIDS, Patients carry a wow. You see, because of Grace's SS status, coupled with the pregnancy, it, it complicated her situation. So, so, so are you saying, are you saying the drugs you'll be giving will be ineffective? We are trying various cocktails to know whichever one that will, that will be effective. But honestly. Grace. What about the blood thing you were talking about the other time? I see the four count is very low. It is totally low. So we cannot have a transfusion. So you are saying she cannot be given blood? Yes. Because it can lead to a situation called lysis. A something miracle happens. Grace is going. We can't lose her. I know of the man who does all the miracles. His name is Jesus. So that we have to pray. The Bible says that by the stripes of Jesus we are healed. The Bible says that in all things, and this is one of those things, let's pray, so that let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. Let's pray. Father Lord Jesus, 
thank you for our sister Grace. Lord, the Bible says that by your stripes we are healed. Lord, you say you will refresh in our bones, you will heal our bodies, Lord. Father, at this moment, we capitalize on the blood of Jesus. We capitalize on the word that says that. person behaves look at you you are drunk yes mama i'm drunk and i will still drink because i realized my mistake believing that a wicked man called god leave me leave me leave me you are part of my problem God this, God that, God that, you never told me this God is a cruel God, a wicked God. You are part of my problem, I said. You don't know what you are saying. May God forgive you. No, Mama. No, you don't know what you are saying. It is He who God, the God who needs forgiveness for me because He betrayed me. He betrayed me. Hi. I will not listen to any more of this nonsense. You have better clean up your act and go see your wife. You abandon her when she needs you most. Oh, it is me she needs now, not God. No. You people should leave me alone. You people should go. You people should go. <laughs> Let me have God. <laughs> You will even let me go out of me. Maybe Satan will have compassion on me. You must let me. Let me. Let me. Reservations about about his Christian life, but because he, he, maybe if you go straight to the point you're trying to make, it will help us. The point is, this man has been drinking. It's not as if I want to carry out a rumor here, but the other day I saw him staggering out from a beer parlor. There are numerous reasons why one could go to a beer parlor, Lara. Then what? I, I really do not want to delve into that. Desmond is ordered, like I am. But you don't go hanging around in a beer parlor. It is well. It is well. Grace will get healed. God will never let his own down. presence around us. Why? Be it as it may. I think you should be doing the talking. 
She'll talk to her. She needs to be careful. She's got to be very careful. Oh, Grace. Desmond proposed to Grace last night. Hi. It was so romantic. I heard that he took mm. her to a very cool place and proposed. Oh! I'm very happy for her. But what do you think is too solid? I mean, he's a young Christian. What is wrong with that? They both love one another. I think it was love at first sight. <laughs> Only that Grace was so naive to see you. Ex. <laughs> Coming. Hello. Hi. 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 What do you want? How could you be so cruel? Simi. You and I know you infected her. Simi, please. I did not infect anybody. I have known Grace for the better part of her life. When you married her, was she not a virgin? That's when you infected her. And for your information, you had better go and do that first. But do no such thing. Simi, please. I respect you. Save your respect! Desmond, you know what? Right now, I am trying not to hate you. If I had the strength, I would have beaten you black and blue. God will not forgive you, Desmond, for what you did to my friend. God will punish you, Desmond. What are you waiting for? Beat! Hate! Insult! I'm a monster, right? It's okay. Don't ever call me. I killed her, right? I killed Grace, right? <laughs> God! I'm almost done. You don't look too happy. I will be happier if I am not witnessing all the happenings around. What happens might you be referring to? See me. A sad episode of a beautiful girl who made the mistake of marrying an unbeliever. Lying sick in bed and all her husband does is to jump from one beer parlor to the other. Yara. The words that come out of your mouth sometimes. Lara, take heed that ye do not judge, so that you shall not be judged. I am not judging. I am only saying the truth. Before your husband traveled, he was practically older in the hospital. But not this month. One who should be more concerned. Anyway, let me breathe on my tongue. Let me wear it up. Let us go. I can answer all your questions to your satisfaction. To start with, it is not burn against, it is born again. And secondly, it is not about doctrine, it's about, it's about your personal relationship with God. That's exactly the point. If you're looking for something tangible to hold on to, it will be difficult. But Desmond, I know that even with your reservations, you know that there's a God somewhere out there. There is love. You can show love. 
or to touch it would be difficult. And this does not mean that love does not exist. Holy Spirit is love. Okay, let me use myself as an example. You see, I was adopted by a Christian family from an orphanage. It's okay. There's, there's really nothing to be sorry about. Um, I found peace knowing that I'll reunite with them someday. I have known Grace for the better part of her life. When you married her, was she not a virgin? Yes, man, you infected her. And for your information, you had better go and do that first. You have come to chastise me too. Simi told me of your visit. She was just upset. You know how it is with women. So, what are you? What have you come for? She's the best thing that has ever happened to me. I know. Prajeep, I can't understand. I don't understand. Why is this happening to her? She does not deserve it. It's not fair. Oh God, this is not right. I'm human. Simi says I infected her and in all probability it's possible. How do I face her? What do I tell her? You don't need to say a word. You don't have to say anything. You just have to be there for her. That's all. Just be there for her. Look, Desmond. Grace is dying slowly. Grace is dying. I killed my wife. It's, it's not like I do not have faith, but we have to accept the probability. Even while we keep going, you, you, you have to get, get to see how I killed my wife. I killed my wife. I brought you like I killed my wife. I killed my wife. God. Be strong. This is not fair. The test was a mistake. We should claim healing by faith. I will make arrangement with anyone who would like to do a prayer of agreement. We will not do any test again. Where in God's name is Desmond? I hope what his mother is telling me is not the truth. Pastor, we've not seen him. Daddy, we need to look for Desmond. He's in a terrible situation. The last time I saw him, I did not like the state he was at all. Okay. I think you people should go look for him. And when you see him, you tell him we want to see him. I think so.
We shall be leaving now, sir. Thank you, my dear. Go in peace. It will be well. Don't look at the storm. Look unto God. All will be well, okay? Gloria, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Let me just go pick up something and meet you. Okay. Daddy, mommy. It's okay. I think we are overcoming this problem. What does this one baby do? It's really hard, my son. Do you better handle it? Because it's getting out of hand. Don't leave me. I will die. Don't. I stay with you. Please. Honey, I am not leaving you, okay? I will always be with you. I'm not going anywhere. I'll be here with you. Look. All I pray is for you to continue to fight. And in God's time, you'll make everything beautiful. I will. You <laughs> don't leave me. Don't leave me. Please. law cannot die. My daughter cannot die. If my son cannot stay here and pray for the wife, oh, I will see that here and pray for my daughter-in-law. She will not die. My... I know our strength is in the Lord. We shall not be weak. 
much. Let us pray. We want to thank you because you have given life more abundantly. Your word said the road of the wicked shall not rest upon the Lord of the righteous. I have to go to church. Please. Well, now, uh, I'll see what I can do. Anyway, Desmond was here earlier. But you were asleep then. Poor him. See me. I don't know which hurts me most. I don't know if it's the sickness or the misery he's in. I don't know. Thank you. It's me. Please do me this favor. No matter what happens, I want you and Jean to take good care of him for me. Please. It's okay, Grace. It's okay. I'll see what I can do. Let me go arrange your jeans bond. Thank you. I'll be with you shortly. give thanks to God for the miracle he has performed. We all came together as one to pray and fast. Today, grace is seated in our midst. Let's give a clap offering to God as she comes up to give a word or two to you. My brothers and sisters, I, I want to thank you all for your visits, your prayers, your kindness. I heard you swarmed the hospital the other day and scared the management. Thank you. God bless you all. I have a burden which I want to share with all of you. I'm sure you all know the Lord's prayers. Please remember these words. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Brethren, please ponder on these words in your own quiet time. I'll, I'll leave it at that. I would like to sing a song.
Search for him everywhere. I still haven't got him. What still all his phones are off. Maybe it is for the best. Everybody is upset with him. They think he abandoned Chris. We should not still get him. Even so, we we have to forgive him. The truth is, we all miss Chris. Her death still remains a puzzle. This is the time we all have to gather around this one. This one needs us now the most. He needs us now. Sweetheart, I keep praying to God. I pray to God to give me the grace not to hate this man. <laughs> Thank you. Darling. Yeah. Darling, you really have to pray. <laughs> There's no reason why you should be it. I mean, God who is our God can forgive us. And how much less we him. I need yeah. my grace. I need my grace. I need my
I knew it was the devil pulling one of his pranks. I immediately waged war. We prayed and fasted. And each time I visited her in the hospital, she was dying. I even stopped further tests on her. But I couldn't tell what it was. Say something, please. Pick the microphone. I know most of you are angry with me. Some of you even hate the sight of me. It's all right. You're all justified. I was not fair to Grace. But you all did not know the agony I've been going through. Because grace was the best thing that ever happened to me. The best thing. When I was in the world, I lived by the dictates of the world. I hurt those who hurt me harder. My cold was two eyes for an eye. But it did not help me. It did not give me peace. It did not give me happiness. I infected Grace. And I was angry with God. Why her? Why not me? I still remember her parting words. She said, Honey, I've done my own part. Carry on the good fight. Never you ask God why. Believe that His plans for you are plans of good and not of evil. Then, the light dawned on me. I had given my life to Christ, but I didn't have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Grace was strong for me when I was weak. God needed me. He had to break me to get me. I am broken. Please. Forgive me. Forgive me. How many of us believe that Grace, she's in heaven right now? Yeah. Grace, we all can bet for. Now, how many can honestly say in right now? With all the malice, disbelief, anger, her body in our hearts, that if he or she dies, he will make heaven. Let the life grace lived be a challenge to us. Her life is a challenge to all Christians. 
I know right now that Grace will be praying for us to join her someday in the Golden City. Should we be mourning that Grace is in heaven? Don't we rejoice? Her life was short but well spent. I therefore employ us to join her in her fight. Let us fight and walk the good works that Grace lived for. We should sing to her, not her sing to us. Let us sing. Please. Permit me to, to do this special song for Grace. Uh, for Jim, please. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me.